Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm your host, Valerie Ortiz. Up next, we take you inside the world of Cirque du Soleil, where under a big yellow tent, a Native American dance ceremony takes center stage. Now, hoop dancer Eric Hernandez never thought that this traditional dancing ritual his uncle taught him when he was young would become part of a high-intensity, mesmerizing performance in the world-renowned Cirque du Soleil. But that is exactly what happened. And we have that story right here on American Latino TV. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. I'm in love with hoop dancing because it gives me the opportunity to share my culture, my, my Native American side. My name is Eric Hernandez, and I am the hoop dancer in the show Totem. And yeah, so I'm half Native American, half uh, Latino. I was watching my uncle perform this dance, and uh, I wanted to learn more about it and learn a little bit more about my Native American heritage, so I asked him to teach me. And when I was 10 years old, he taught me this dance. Every time I dance, it's emotional. I try and connect it to my dance emotionally because it was originally a, a wedding ceremony dance. The hoop I dance with represents eternity. I feel emotional because I'm getting the opportunity to, to share with 2,700 people this, this traditional dance that hasn't been seen by such a big crowd. <laughs> When Cirque du Soleil called me, I didn't get excited all, all of a sudden because I didn't know if it was, you know, for real. Uh, circus life is, is great. It's interesting. It's, it's fun. It's always different. We're always changing cities. We're always experiencing different crowds. I'm always away from my family, so that's, that's one of the difficult things. I'm very close with my family, and uh, like we are Latinos, we're really close. We're, you know, we, we love to come together and, and make food and get together, and, and that's one of the difficulties. Before I came to Cirque du Soleil, I used 14 hoops, and uh, my act was a lot longer. It was about seven or eight minutes, and I danced kind of in one, one general space. And when I came to Cirque du Soleil, I was taught to project to the crowd because there's 2,700 people, and I was taught to use the whole stage. Doing it 10 times a week is can be excessive, but I'm able to get through that by, by having that emotional connection with the dance and, and being so appreciative to share with the people that it's, I go out every night with the attitude that I'm, I'm proud to share it and I'm proud to perform. My makeup takes me about an hour. Because a lot of people think that there's people doing our makeup for us, but there's 56 artists. All of the artists do their own makeups. The most challenging part of my makeup is trying to keep the straight line across my face because my face isn't flat. So I have to go with the ridges at the same time, keep it, keep it straight. When I'm putting on my makeup every day, um, like I said, it takes an hour. And that's also the kind of time period where I'm turning from Eric into the totem hoop dancer in my mind as well as just the makeup. As I'm putting on that makeup, I'm looking myself in the eyes and I'm doing it and, and I'm kind of starting to already get into character for the show as I'm doing my makeup. And that's, it's kind of like a ritual that I have every day and that every artist has. So now I've finished with my makeup, come watch me on stage. <laughs>